Hi and welcome back to the course on data integrity and security. As you know that in our previous lecture, we covered SQL Server, basic understanding of SQL Server. Today we'll see how can we install it on a server 2022 in a production environment. As you can see, we are using the evaluation version of Windows Server 2022, which is the data center evaluation version. I have 8 GB of RAM on it and we are using 8 processors. Now, in order to install it, you'll have to download it from Microsoft website. You can get a free version, evaluation version of Windows Server 2022. You'll have to search Microsoft Server 2022 and it would take you to this website. You'll have to select the download ISO file and then continue download, fill in your details and you'll be able to download. Second thing which is required for today's tutorial is you'll have to download Microsoft Server SQL Server 2019, which is the latest version of it. Uh, search it, you'll find this link, click on it. It would take you to this website, click on Try SQL Server 2019. Then we'll click on SQL Server on premises, free trial. And here, you can download the exe file once you will do that you'll have to put in the details on the next page it would ask you to download the offline version of sql server you'll be able to do that uh, its size is around about uh, let's check it out 1.5 gb so you'll be able to download it offline the third thing that we need is SQL Management Studio, which you can download from their website, click on it, and then click free download for SQL Management Studio 18.11. So we have downloaded the files. As you can see, we are running Windows Server evaluation version, which is the start. I have SQL Server 2019 already downloaded and extracted. And then I have the Management Studio for SQL Server. Just like uh, we did on MySQL, in order to manage the SQL database, you need uh, MySQL Workbench. Just like on SQL Server, in order to manage the database, you need the Management Studio. We'll see it once we'll install it, but let's start the installation of SQL Server first. You'll click on the setup file. Now it's this window, it's showing you all the hardware requirements and other things. We we'll click on installation on the left hand side and then we'll select the option of new SQL Server standalone uh, installation. If you are installing a reporting service, you'll go to this one. If you want to install the management tools and if you want to install the SQL Server data tools, so it depends if you have a existing installation of Windows Server and you want to add any new things to it, you'll have to select from it. Since it's the fresh installation for the first time, we'll select the first option up here. Now it would check the basic requirements. Now, since uh, we are using the evaluation version, we'll keep it like this and we'll press next. Accept the terms. Now, we don't want to check it at the moment. Press next. Now, since it has checked all the basic requirements, now it's asking that what we would like to install. Now, there are lots of things in it. First of all, instance feature is database engine, which is required for our today's tutorial. The rest of the things, is if you want to have any machine lear learning uh, plugins to that, or full text and uh, machine learning standalone clients and uh, all the other things which are required for uh, different other things. You can select it from here. Since we are only interested in the installation of SQL Server, we'll be selecting the first option. Once you'll select it or click on it, you can see uh, what this feature includes. So you can read the information over here. Here it's showing you the path of it where it would be installed on your computer. So we'll select the database engine services and then we'll press next. Now it's asking for the instance name of it, default instance name, or you can rename it whatever you like. We'll keep it as it is, but as a reference, we'll note down the details so that we don't face any problems later. 
so we'll just note it down and then we'll press next now it's showing you different service accounts like sql server agent if it's installed or not manual i prefer installing it automatically over here then we have sql server database engine it is automatic and sql server browser which is disabled by default and we'll press next now it's asking if you want to have a windows based authentication or you would like to have a mixed mode like windows base and another one it's recommended to have the mixed mode so i'll select it and then i'll add the current user of windows which we are using at the moment which is the administrator account we'll press add current user so it would add it so that if we want to authenticate it using the administrator account or the password that we have provided we'll be able to do that if you would like to have uh, the data directory shifted to a different directory, you can select it from here. You can check the temporary database and the number of files and other uh, detailed information about it over here. And max DOP plus the memory utilization, etc. and file stream. I'll keep it as default and press next. Now it's showing you the things which would be installed once you continue installation and the path of it for the configuration file which is at this path we'll copy it and we will save it here as well now press install as you can see it has finished installing it we'll press close and that's as far as installation of sql server is concerned if you want to check you can click start and click to sql server and then to the configuration and here in sql services you can see that both of the services are running for agent as well as for ms sql we did not install sql browser so it stopped at the moment but both of them are functional now we'll see how can we manage this SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio, which is available right over here. Now let's start the installation of it. It's giving you a default path of it. Click install. And as you can see, it has been installed. Now we'll press close and we'll try to open the management studio. Now, if you want to log into your SQL server, that's the name of the server. And then if we'll try with Windows authentication, we'll simply press connect and it would connect to our database and you can see all the tables the rest of the information over here now if we want to connect ourselves uh, with the username and password that we provided earlier so we'll disconnect it first and then we'll connect the database again and instead we'll select sql server authentication whenever you're in since when we were installing it we didn't provide the username but sa is the default username and then we'll provide the password that we provided at the time of installation we'll press connect and it will connect us to the sql server and you can see the tables over here so that's about the installation of our sql server 2019 on uh, server 2022 that's it for today thank you very much